Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today this will be a collab with Bianca Chervone, really good friend of mine here on YouTube. Really awesome girl. I love her to death. She is a very super beautiful, very creative. Her makeup is on point. So I really, really just, I'm so super excited to be doing a collab with her because she is just a sweet, genuine girl. We are both doing spring looks, so make sure you definitely go check out her look. I will definitely link, link, definitely link, I will definitely link her channel and her video as well in the bottom bar. So make sure you go down there and take a look, so pop over to her channel, let her know that I sent you. And yeah, I did this just really beautiful teal with like a pop of lighter duochrome teal right on the center of the eye just to bring the light there because I knew I was going to be doing a very dramatic lower lash line and I did do purple and I also incorporated some purple in the outer corners so it kind of blended around. I think it turned out really really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I would definitely rock this in the daytime, nighttime, it does not matter. If you do have brown eyes, this will really accentuate and bring out your brown eyes. Your brown eyes are really going to pop. If you do not have brown eyes, it does not matter. This is still going to look super beautiful on you. So don't be afraid to go in with the blues and the purples because they're just beautiful, beautiful. I'm really happy that I went out of my comfort zone and tried some greens and purples. This was a chance for me to collab with a really good friend here and actually do something that I'm really not comfortable doing. So... I'm going to be doing a lot more colorful looks because I really, really, really like this. I really think it's super beautiful. I did incorporate just a gloss slip with it because the eyes are just like, they just create such a punch. So I didn't want to take away from the eyes. I did do a little bit of like coral peachy blush just to bring some color to the cheeks. But other than that, everything is pretty much basic. So you can wear this if you are super, super fair or if you are super, super dark. If you have really dark skin, this teal is going to pop on your eyes. It is just going to be super beautiful and as well as light skin. So depending on your skin tone is going to be how the green actually shows up, but it's still going to be beautiful. So I just wanted to say that because it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, what color eyes you are, this is going to be beautiful on you. So with that being said, if you would like to see how I created this just really super, super beautiful. God, I can't talk today. If you would like to see how I created this super beautiful, just spring inspired, fun, colorful look, then please keep watching. Okay, ladies, let's get started. So, I already got my brows on and everything. I will link that tutorial below. We're going to start out with our L'Oreal Magic Blur Perfecting Base Primer. And I heard this is really comparable to like the Tarte Primer. I don't know, of course, but that's what they say. It's comparable to high end. I actually really love this primer. It's a really good pore filler. So I just put it on with my brush first and then I smooth it in with my fingers just to get that really smooth finished base. Now, through this video, you're going to see some things and don't judge me, but yeah, I was having fun. I was kind of excited. Next, we're going to prime our eyes. No Surprise hair, just prime them with any type of primer. You can use eyeshadow, primer, concealer, whatever you want. Then really blend it in and then go in with some just loose translucent powder. That's what I use, just some CoverGirl translucent powder and dusted this all over my eyelids and then went in with my shadows. So in this particular video, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35P palette because it has every single shadow in here that I absolutely need. First, I'm going to go in with a really just light tan color. It's like a light tan brown. It's not actually white and it's not really cream. It does have a brown hue to it. And you will see as I apply it on this eye, it does have some brown in it. So I did want to use a lot of warm browns in my crease for the simple fact that I'm going to be using a lot of cool tone shadows which are the blues and the purples in this eye. So I definitely wanted to go in with some browns just to kind of, you know, compensate for all the cool tones. Now I'm going in with like a nice, real, like reddish brown. And I went in with this one. And I also go in with my Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear because it's even more deeper reddish brown tone, which I thought looked really, really pretty. So, and then I go in with an even darker one. You'll see all that. 
So I was kind of wondering if I should even do a voiceover on this or if I should just let you guys listen to some music and I really didn't know what to do so I thought maybe I'll put some music in as well. I hope you enjoyed that <laughs> as much as I did. I don't know, I figured why not jam out a little bit. You know, I was having fun. Like I said, don't judge me. Now we're going in with the Makeup Geek Cocoa Bear, and we are literally putting this directly in the crease and blending it onto the lid. So we're not taking this up. We're keeping it in the crease very low and bringing it onto the lid just to really deepen up that socket of the eye. So, and you want to take this just as much in the inner corner as you do in the middle and the outer corner. All the way into the inner corner, all the way to the outer corner and round it out at the end. Now we're going in with this beautiful Revlon Keller Stay thingy, Hickam the Jew. I don't know exactly what it's called. All the products will be listed in the bottom bar. You guys know. They're always down there. So don't fear. I will have everything that I use listed in the bottom bar. As far as brushes, I've had a couple of questions about brushes. Guys, I don't use expensive brushes. I use three Sigma brushes, the pencil brush, the E35, the E25, and these, like, this is the Real Techniques brushes. And then I use my e.l.f. So I use very inexpensive brushes. And that's why I don't go into depth like, oh, I'm using the Tarte brush. and I'm Because I don't use those brushes. So anyways... This is the Jesse Girl Pigment. I believe it's in Secret Weapon. No, Troublemaker. I'm sorry. Troublemaker. So after you put that Revlon, like, it's just like the eye base primer is what I used it for, really. So I put this on top, and oh my god, it is so super beautiful. Look at that. You do get a lot of fallout with pigment, so please do your eyes first. Do your foundation later. Now we're going to go in the middle. I'm using my Benefit High Beam because I had it laying next to me with the Secret Weapon, Jessie's Girl Pigment. So I used two Jessie's Girl Pigment. One was Secret Weapon, and that's this one. And the other one was Troublemaker, and that was the more blue one. So I'm just taking this Benefit High Beam, and then I go in with my L'Oreal Infallible. It's like just a beautiful highlight shade. Again, it'll be in the bottom bar. I'm not going to say that for every product that I don't remember, but... Anyway, I put this on first kind of like a base because I didn't want the pigment to really stick stick to it and be like all clumpy in certain areas. So that's why I chose to do this step. You could actually go straight on with the pigment if you want, but I thought this would just be like better and it went on smoother and I actually liked it. I thought they blend in like a lot better. Now I'm going in with an even darker shadow. This one's more cool toned brown. This is not a warm toned brown. This is actually a cool toned brown. So, but with the warm underneath, the warm colors, it really didn't look cool toned. It just went, it just meshed together perfectly. So, I'm just deepening it up to try to hide that band where you can really see where it stopped and then where the shadow started. Now I'm going in with this real deep plum. It's just like a real deep plum purple. Talia, it's the only way I can explain it. So, what I did here is I just took this on the outer V only. I didn't bring this into the crease or any of that. Just literally laid that on the outer V and then whatever product was left on my brush, I just swooped it across real just quickly just to kind of fade it in. Now we're going to go ahead and wipe up all of that shadow that has fallen underneath of our eyes. You just want to clean it up really, really good. Kind of sharpen up that line if you went down a little too far. And then I went back in with that plum again and just deepened up the outer corner. Now I'm showing you... I just went in with some really just simple eye glue, but I love this eyelash glue. It is like super glue for your eyelashes. And then I used my Michelle Fawn um, mascara that I've been loving a lot lately, and I curled my lashes. So I just stuck some of that on, and then we're going to apply our lashes. Now these lashes, I believe, are the Kiss lashes, and I, I get my lashes, all my lashes, from the hair salon stores. So that's where I get my lashes at. They're $2.99, and they're amazing. Now, these ones are kind of a little bit everywhere because I've used them like 15 times, but they're still holding up, so I'm going to keep on using them. 
Now I'm just going in with my real tech. Not, oh, I can't talk. My real techniques. Miracle complexion sponge. That's a mouthful. And I'm using my L'Oreal. Uh, what is it? God, I can't remember what foundation I'm using. My I drew a blank. Anyway, you've seen it. I just don't remember. So I'm using that. The, the L'Oreal Lumi. And that I put that all over my face. Now I'm going in with that same L'Oreal highlight shade. And we're going to put that on the brow bone. Now I'm going to take two different Maybelline concealers. And my LA Girl Pro Conceal and Beautiful Bronze. And we are just going to go ahead and contour the cheeks. The around the hairline, underneath the jaw, the nose, right in the cupid's bow, around the lip, just everywhere that you would contour at. And I'm using my sponge to blend it out. So this is just really simple. I think I'm in N3, neutral 3 on my foundation. Like I said, I'll say it one more time, I will have everything in the bottom bar, guys. So, I really like contouring my nose. I never used to, but I really like it now when I use this concealer because it blends out to where it's like almost nothing. Like, it looks really harsh here, and it's not. Like, when you blend it out, it's absolutely not. It, like, blends out super, super easily, and it just looks like a really nice shadow there. So, I've been really liking doing this. Now, I'm going in with the neutral one. It's just a neutral, I guess you want to call it concealer. So I just use this just really right under where the dark circles are. Do not use it in a triangular motion. Now I go in with my concealer and I use that. It, my, of course, I'm in Fair Clear. I use the fairest one because I, you know, kind of want that strong highlight under my eyes for spring, you know. So just blend this out and then go in with just any really light translucent powder. I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me one. I really like how this is under your eyes because it's so... It's just really super, like, sheer, and it's, like, micro-fine kind of powder. And then I'm taking the Ofer Banana Powder, and I'm just going to go and lightly dust that as well under my eyes. So, just to give it, like, a nice, bright highlight. Yeah. Now I'm going in with this super beautiful purple shade underneath the eyes. You can see the one eye is done. This is absolutely beautiful. I really didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wanted to do another pop of color under my eye. I didn't want to go under, like, just, you know, do, like, a halo. I wanted something different, so I did something different. And I think these colors went really super beautiful together. Now I'm actually using that same color in my outer V. And it just kind of, like, I only brought it in the outer corner V and swooped it around. So, love, love, love. I am just in love with this eye. I think it's gorgeous. So now I took this really shimmery shade and I used this just to blend that purple out even more. And then I just go in with a clean, fluffy blending brush and just buff the shit out of the rest of it. You know, just take it around, up around the eye and down and around underneath the lash line. Now we're going to go in with our Ofra and this is in turquoise. Now I found that it really doesn't stay on my lash line really long. So what you could do is take an eyeshadow comparable to the color of any liner that you own and it will make it like lock it in place and make it stay on your lash line a lot longer. This was my first time using this. So yeah, now I know. So next time I'll use an eyeshadow to try to make it stay a little longer. Now we're just going to put some mascara on our lower lashes and then we are going, oh yeah, that's right. I kind of screwed up and got some mascara. If you do this and you mess up and get mascara, just completely wait for it to dry. Do something else while it's drying, like how I'm doing my inner corner highlight. Then take a Q-tip and literally just brush it away. It'll pick, like, right off. It'll just, like, flake right off. So you guys want some more music? I do. Let's listen to some more music. Okay, guys, I was jamming through this entire video. I think that's why it's so long, because I was playing around. But I'm just taking my e.l.f. It's like the Palp Perfector or whatever the hell it is. It's just a glossy 
lip gloss and we're staking that on our lips. Then I'm going to go ahead and highlight all my highest points on my face, tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead, yeah, so, you know, all those places that you would do. But I really was having fun. I was jamming out through this entire video. And if you're anything like me, I love listening to music when I put makeup on. So, but this highlight, guys, can you even, like, I can't even. I just can't even. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. contour kit because this is my shit. And we're just going to hit them contours and them cheeks a little bit more just to bring them out a little bit more. And define them a little bit more, you know. Got to get that, you know, definition in that face going on. Then we are going to go in with some bronzer, and I'm using the Rimmel Matte Bronzer, and this one's in Sun Bronze. I went back to this one. I actually love this one. I was using the NYX Bronzer, uh, but yeah, I'm really liking this one. I just, It's just really nice. It's not too orange. It's a really good color for a bronzer. Then we are going to go in and blush. Now, these blushes are so crazy pigmented, you have to dust off your brush. Watch. Like, ladies, just make sure you hit all the colors off your brush or you are going to have a whole hot mess that you cannot fix. So just really be careful with these blushes. They are so worth the money. They do not fade on me at all. I just think they're just so worth the money. I think I paid like $9 for this palette. And you need a little bit. So they are going to last you a long ass time. Now we're going to set our face. And that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I love you. And until next time, I will see you in my next video.